You can't shoot what you can't see, but cutting-edge anti-aircraft platforms like the Russian S-400 and S-500 have demonstrated that stealth may be advantageous, but speed may be more beneficial. Although with satellites you have no need to put aircraft in the area, they are not always the best option, as they can take up to 24 hours to enter the proper orbit, while an SR-71 can go from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. in just over an hour, and now Lockheed Martin has a solution that is twice as fast as the SR-71. A hypersonic speed is way better than stealth, but could the already existing hypersonic missiles make the new bomber obsolete? Well, your answer is, it would be nearly impossible to stop a fast, high-flying bomber flying at the very edge of space and armed with hypersonic missiles. The SR-72, unlike the SR-71, will be a hypersonic UAV for reconnaissance and surveillance. The SR-72 will be a powerful weapon for conducting accurate strikes against agile or otherwise difficult-to-reach targets, since the UAV will be equipped with hypersonic weaponry, like high-speed strike weapon.